Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, round three. We've got two one-on-one -on -one teams, Moomin Slayer with Underworld, who's blue, and Frickapir with Frickapir's guys, who's red with humans. And uh, we're joining this on game two. Unfortunately, there's no way to rewind a live game in Blood Bowl three, so we've just got to uh, we've just got to imagine what happened on turn one. But uh, doesn't look like too much. No cars. Benched a thrower and a lineman. And uh, he does have the ball and a snotling, <laughs> based by an ogre. That's a bit rowdy, isn't it? We've got a sidestep gutter, block thrower, wrestle, clan rat, tackle blitzer, block clan rat, wrestle clan rat. A lot of people with these like kind of skilling up lots of skills rather than stacking. And obviously the juggernaut roger is a pretty standard thing. I definitely think stacking two heads and sidestep was the way. And even like Eliod leaning into the one turn more with extra arms, I'm pretty sure that's the correct way to build them. I just don't feel like they need a lot of skills. Correct. And uh, meanwhile, Frickapir has gone for the... The... A bit, a bit better than standard in my opinion. He's gone for three guards and a tackle. And the guard ogre, I like that more than a mighty blow. On one of the blitzers, block catcher, and a sneaky git catcher. I don't mind that. I don't mind the sneaky git catcher. He can't be keeping the ball in the snotling. I mean, maybe he can because I guess he just doesn't care if he loses it because he's got a thrower and a cutter to get it back up. But it's pretty, it's pretty rowdy, isn't it? He rolls a double one, doesn't get to foul the ogre, the ogre. So the ogre is going to, uh, the ogre is going to just three dice the ball. Probably, probably. Like it's pretty good, isn't it? You could chain things here, but I'm not sure they do anything. Or maybe they do. Maybe you can block him, chain him to there, block him, chain him to there, which chains him back, and then you get to hit the uh, hit the snot with like a blitzer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, gear five. Which I don't know. I think maybe just smashing him with the ogre was all right. So yeah, he can do a chain here. Yeah, where well, he started, he's done the first one. done. He hasn't done what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad? Oh, and then he won in 80 ones. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. He, he definitely shouldn't have rolled like that. That's what he should have not done. Never roll like that. Very bad mistake. First notch rustling. Needs another assist to hit the ogre, doesn't he? Oh, he's going to roll the blitz first. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? He's got Juggernaut. And that cancels the guard. And gets a knockdown with Mighty Blow. Now maybe Cage one away from the ogre <laughs> and foul him. Oh, he's pushed him away. The, the he could have got another. He could have had like a goblin hit, right? Could have literally just pushed him there, and a goblin could have hit him on two D. Finally, gonna give it to the gutter. 
Makes sense. Maybe like swarmed underneath it. So he's got 12 players on the pitch because he lost one. Well, he rolled poorly for a compare, but I think he could have tried something a bit better than what he did. Yeah, maybe Aurelensis, maybe. I've never forgotten to score. But yeah, maybe I shouldn't be... I mean, I'm not really beating myself up about the mistakes that I made against Galentio, but... But I did make him, didn't I? So... It is what it is. I would have liked to have played better. Jim Shard. Is he going to ogre the rogue? Is he going to ogre? No, he's already blitzed. He's not going to ogre the rogue. You know, one. Oh, he could. He could. He can move the catcher over and two D the rogue. He doesn't make him especially weak either, does he? It's pretty weird how he's got, like, the rats surrounded here. Yeah, they're not a team I ever want to use, to be honest. Like, just, you know, I never fan I'm never going to fancy playing them, but I guess if they win, they win, don't they? Elliot liked them before, so it's, it's perfect for Elliot that now they're the best team. <laughs> Badly hurt, but it's just a shit headline, man. Yep, doesn't use the app all. Got 13 players. Yeah, I wonder whether I should play them on Fumble or, or even in Ladder, right? Like, I could play them in Ladder and keep them low TV like this. Make them, you know, just, just keep like a gutter with a sidestep two heads and stuff and the Rogue with just Juggernaut and stuff.
pretty horrible having the ogre on snotlings, isn't it? What can you do? Maybe he's got to, you know, try and pile in after the gutter, like it seems shit, but what else are you going to do? I guess now they're all getting those powers and with using that guy over here he just blitz him into there and hang around in front of them. I hate this. I hate I hate just committing your tackler to not hit the gutter. And to just get, you know, blitzed and fouled. Yeah, I hate that hate the total explosion. I, I like blitzing this guy, you know, an extra hit and then like pull him back to here or something. I think they were mostly terrible, Dio. There was, you know, outside of the Yakmin Max, there was only really a Elliot's Strength 5 lineman team that did anything. Ten games each. I mean, that's a lot of games, right? Ten games each with a trace. Even in Blood Bowl 3, that's like 140 games. Hundred and fifty now. Like hundred and fifty games is a lot of games of Blood Bowl, isn't it? I always think it's funny when people like I've heard people say like uh you should play twenty games with each team and it's like that's three hundred games of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of advice is this? I played no Underworld in Blood Bowl 2. Probably just like keeping. I guess like the snotlings are slow, and the goblins are slow. Even though they can like dodge through things, can't they? So that's like they can become fast by just dodging straight forward. But like 
The snotlings and the goblins are pretty slow, so if you can just keep everything in front of you and just nailing the snotlings as much as you can. Maybe that's enough. Not nailing snotlings though, is he? Well, nails a gobble. Lucky Tibbum. Foul the wrestler again. Two assists because of wrestle. Really good that wrestle got buffed, isn't it? That was, you know, if, if anything needed a buff, it was really, it was really guard, wasn't it? No, I just, just went over there. Is this like a blitz the tackler, move everyone over here kind of turn? Nope, he's blitzing over there. But he knew he was going one and nine. Genius play. It's just a two plus, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he could sideline it. Or he could get further forward. I hope to get more stuff. I can tie that up there. And he's got sidesteps, so doesn't need to worry at all. It'd have been better off if that catcher had fouled over there. I don't think there was any way to come up through this way. Maybe there was. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe he did do something. There. Do you go for the five plus two D here? Here, probably. Finally tightens it up. Last second. Oh wow, double GFI. Sick. Sick turn that, isn't it? Massively layered cage. And now all Frickipi can do is try and... He can blitz him there to get an extra block. Oh, but then he's not hitting the wrestler. Well, this wrestler. Doesn't really do anything, does it? As a thing, look, if only he'd had the tackler up here, he could have blitzed him. Had tackler in the front and been pretty good. I think he definitely needed to uh, keep the tackle back and try to uh, get an advantage with other things first. I think I'm happy with, uh, after just watching these few games of Underworld, I think I'm getting happy with how I'd play against them, but still have no desire to play with them. <laughs> Oof. 
now he can move the tackler back. Finally. Just to get tagged out by pretty much anything on the opposing team. So maybe you should just tag the wrestler seeing as he's going to tag you anyway. But I can see two Ds here, which isn't great. But leaving a gaping hole seems really bad, doesn't it? Leaving a gaping hole seems really bad. And letting that wrestler just instantly blitz also seems really bad. Yeah. Yeah, I think the tackler should have probably tagged that wrestler. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. That's a good point, Dio. Yeah, yeah. Every dub skull is a dicing. Dub one, even. Every snake eyes is a dice. So what's this? Three, four, four, three for a 2D? I don't really see the point of doing anything else. But people do do other things, so I just think it's crap. Problem is, even if you pound me, he still scores anyway. So, I guess in this in this situation, like whatever you do, it's not going to be enough. So maybe just make a mighty blow hit with your ogre. <laughs> hit his ogre and gang foul it. Don't know what else he's going to do, but feel like that could have been a 3D. Doing this is pointless, right? He's just scoring next to. So that was one, two, three, four players. He could have could have made this three D. Third dice might have been a pal. Might have killed him. Doesn't take the both down. He's no run bad, is he? I wonder if he should have taken the board down there or not. <laughs> Didn't hit the rogue either, right? He had, he had like three players here. I thought, guess these three could have also just assisted the rogue hit. Rather than, like if you didn't want to make this 3D, at least make that a 2D. That was a terrible GFI. Maybe he didn't realize it was a GFI. Because yeah, this is all his turns are gonna be. The human one turn. Capped at 13 for the rest of the game in the world. Not great.
Bad habits, three of them, but it's only for the drive. I don't think uh, dodge is toggleable for like one turns, so very dangerous having goblins on the LOS instead of snotlings here. I'm pretty sure he can take the, the push and just push him. Yeah, no, no option. No option for uh, for Moomin Slayer to turn it off. It's terrible, terrible setup putting goblins on the LOS. Terrible. Terrible! Is that how it would say? Not easy to fill in this in though, is it? I guess he blocks there. But then isn't he going to hit the last one? Mm. Maybe he blocks him and pushes him to here and then he blocks him to there. Yeah, that's how you do it, right? You block him to here. It make, makes you get an extra push. But he blocks him to there and he blocks him to there and then he blocks him to the... Yeah, yeah, this, this is the way. This is a long fucking pass though. Holy shit. He figured it out. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Really risky doom at the yoga. Okay, does it that way. It's not how I would have done it. But who can say if it's... I mean, I think it's shit. I think it should have done the other way. Done it up there. Never mind. He's done it now. Can put guard in and punch him. I mean, he could four plus in. Yeah. 
it's saving him a four plus bar, but then it's yeah, no, it's it's probably better, isn't it, to just four plus in actually. You can get to use a team reroll on it as well. So could have pushed, could have done a four plus dodge in, and then got him an extra push. Like a long bomb. I even, he might even have to double J fight a long bomb. Or you could pass it to him and he could, he could hand off. One, two, three, four, five, six, double J fight, hand off. So yeah, maybe pass it to him. Maybe, because with three rolls, maybe passing it to him is better. No intercept chance. Oh my god, he caught it. Oh man. And then he instantly fails. <laughs> Humans. Shitty human team. Classic. Just get twelve players. So movements are up to five rerolls now. Is feeling the gutter on offense on defense. So I think I feel like you've got to go for the gutter every time you can on uh on defense, like if it's exposed. I think on offense, it's not. Sorry, on offense, you've got to go for it. I think on defense, like, there can still be positional plays that are better. But I feel like on defense, you just have to go for it every single. Sorry, on offense, oh my god. On defense, you've got to, like, keep your. You've got to, like, you know, defend, right? Like, you're not going to get the chance to hit the gutter because you've got the ball, hasn't it? But uh, I feel like on offense, 1 0 down. The one turn is there, you've just got to hit it every time, haven't you? But like watching the game earlier when uh, Talk 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 was hitting it, wasn't he? I feel like he didn't have to, I feel like he could have been doing better positional blitzes. It was an offence. Probably less likely to have to do one. But nobody should let you hit it anyway, should they? So it shouldn't really be a discussion point. <laughs> it shouldn't even be anything to mention. If Hancock played Steve, wonder if Steve's alright. 
He wasn't here earlier. Doesn't move, so it gives away the hit. I guess he used all of his movement to get there, which is a bit shit, isn't it? Like, it's okay getting an extra hit, but if it means... Oh my god, and that was a catcher. He didn't 3D him. He didn't 3D him. He had an assistant. He had an assistant. He had an assist on him and didn't make it a 3D. Whoa. Seems kind of crazy to not make that a 3D when you're hitting the tackle. So the, the run around for the extra hit was pretty nice. But you've got to make it 3D then, surely. Surely you make that 3D. What are the teams meant to look like? Black, yellow, and green. Oh my god. Dimmy G colours for Moomin Slayer. And boring blue for Fricka Bay. Roll the two. Well, not very uh, exciting defence from Moomin Slayer, is it? He's just like playing normally. <laughs> He's not doing a rogue blitz and gang foul. He's just getting in the way a bit, not lying down. He's not Elliotting it with a lie down. But it's pretty good having 12 players, isn't it? Pretty good having 12 players. Pretty rowdy. Oh, we're going to see a sneaky get Fowler Goblin. Oh, he's putting the ogre.
a live game without a co-caster seems like it could be a mistake because <laughs> I feel really tired now and it feels like it's taken forever with like not being able to fill the dead air as easily like I could just talk absolute nonsense constantly but don't really want to Bit of exposed uh, ogre here, isn't it? He could go for the uh, surf. Uh, Roger blitz, and then one D surf. I think that's what he's doing, isn't it? Maybe. Like, shouldn't you just go for the, the Ogre Surf? Probably. You could uphill it, maybe. Maybe that's easier, uphilling it. Get the assists on the uh, second hit. Yeah, he's not going for it now, is he? I think he could have done that, right? He could have uh, had to put a player here. Well, this is a into a one D. This is a push into a one D. That's outrageous. Whereas you could have had another player there, and then he could have put. Then he would have. Uh, wait, no, he would have pushed it here, wouldn't he? Shit. Unless we had to do it two and all one. Flip me. All right, it was a bit rowdy. I was thinking if you had snotlings, you could push. Yeah, you could have had a snotling here, right? You could have had a snotling. You could have had all snotlings or something. I don't know. Whatever, he's fucking surfed him. That was deserved it, honestly. Frick a pay there. We just randomly put him in for no reason, completely unsupported. So now it's twelve versus ten, and uh, it's looking pretty horrendous for Frick a pay. One nil down. Flipping rats. Well. Underworld even worse than rats. Dimmy's, Dimmy's streaming Warhammer, 40k.
I guess the rogue just stands there, right? He doesn't really have to block. Just keep it all locked down. It's gone a bit wrong for the Underworld, hasn't it? I mean, it's still got 12 players, and we've made two stuns, but it doesn't seem as strong as it was the last time I was paying attention. <laughs> He has got the old uh, catcher handoff Tate all player, hasn't he? I'm not sure he needed two players behind the roger here. You can see the roger surf here, can't we? You could uh, two two. And then blitz, blitz it off. Maybe just make a load of dodges with the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six. That seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? So just double dodge. Oh, that seems really. I guess no, because you can't now. You can't dodge off with him there. Okay, that's a terrible idea then. That does do enough, but he's got to keep him there. So, like, the rogue is making keep three players here, which is pretty good. Poor, pretty rowdy. He's going to stay where he is, can't he? Just blitz somebody, run back. I don't like this so much because you're committing your tackler. So now he can hand off to the other catcher and run away. As if he just blitzed the guard in front. I think that was safer. Oh, he's pu pushing him in. Oh, shit. This is rowdy as fuck. Wow. I mean, now it's just asking to be broken away on, right? Because he just 1Ds the roger, and then uh, 2Ds the tackler, and then, like, does some kind of handoff Tato play. Surely. Oh my god, getting 1D'd by a snotling. <laughs> the ultimate insult.
I mean, it's got to got to serve that. I, I hated this getting the ogre in like this, the rogue in. I thought it was fine the way he was, just stay in front. Like let Fricapir do something to make it happen. Now he can just get his rogue served. Oh, what? Shut up. Sorry, dude, you've got to surf the roger. You've fucking got to surf the roger there. Like, okay, it's an uphill, but you've just fucking got to. Like, first of all, you need something good to happen to score. You can't just do this, like, whatever this is. It's not good enough. Because now you've, the rogue is tagging your ball from behind, right? Way. Oh, so maybe he's trying to set up the uh, the catcher handoff in front. But you can literally blitz the tackler. And then you've got the rogue on both. Right? If you push pow, you can block this guy, you can block this guy, you can block this. Like, it's just horrible. I think it was a tough turn, but been a tough drive. But I think that wasn't. I think it was a bad play of the previous turn by Moomin Slayer committing the tackle and the roger. And now they've both been pushed. Like you know, he had everything in front. He had everything in front with two turns. No, wrong blitz. Wrong blitz. You've got to blitz this guy, right? He's the tackler. You can cas him. You can tag the. Uh, you could have. Ta you could have powered him to here, here, and then you'd be tagging the ball. The tackler would be stunned, and you're tagging the catcher that he can hand off to to get away from the rogue. That was so much worse than blitzing the tackler. At least he's protecting the gut of the way. That's nice to see after the after the last few games. Of Underworld. Good three assist foul, the snotling, but does it achieve much? Not really, it might be better to keep we put the snotling here to stop this uh, run through. You can blitz this guy and uh, take it all away. You can also just go straight forward to where he has to do that dodge. Stop with just instant straightforward run. Pretty annoying spot actually for this catcher, isn't it? You can't, uh. You can't blitz this guy easily. So maybe the snapping was okay here. You can blitz him and then just go through the dodges and three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. But then you're leaving him a two turn, which you can't, really can't do. Okay, so you can blitz back here. That's pretty good, isn't it? Blitzing back is pretty good. So he does the handoff, run over, and then uh, three guys. No, oh, he fails it on nine. That's humans for you, isn't it? He probably has to re-roll this to just try and stop the the turnover. Yep. So now you can still move him out, and then you can pass it to him at the end. Or just move him out as the scoring threat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can get to there, which is all right. And you can have the catcher in front. Oh, so he's not. Hmm. 
I mean, throwing's really shit. I was a six on the pass. It was a four, like it was a four plus pass. I just don't think it was worth it when he could have just stood there. <laughs> he could have just stood there. He could have just stood here himself and had like a bit of a screen. the guards he could only oh okay well that's a really good last move and get a 1D with block on right you can uh, you can punch him punch him get the block around punching him isn't easy but isn't impossible or you can just run all the way around one two three four five six seven double G F I four one It's a bit, uh, like it was always, this was always the thing, right? Like, he only had a couple of turns, and the rogue would lock down the front, so then he could have been a bit more in around the side, but because he had two people around the back. Those two people around the back could have been around, like, one could have been the front, one could have been the side, and then it just makes this harder, doesn't it? If there was a player here, he can't do it. going to do here here I'm just going to dodge and run all the way around skull skull <laughs> it's just in simple put to the goblin I wonder if you could three die I mean I think you probably don't want to uh, hit the gutter in case you don't power it but on the other hand, maybe you need to hit the gutter to win. Three, four, five, six, seven. Three dice the gutter. Nah, you probably three dice the gutter with tackle. Eh? Yeah, I guess you've got to, right? Like, there's no point scoring if you're gonna, uh, if he's just gonna one turn against you. So three D the gutter with tackle. I should have three like dude you've got it oh no he's going for the gobble nah. man I think you've got a 3d the, the gutter I think you actually have to okay it wouldn't have done anything and I think you don't make these blocks because you've got one reroll left and you've got a GFI to score <laughs> and you've gone over time so you have to like you have to just go you can't make these blocks even if like they are plus EV even if they are I just go and see how they can be but even if they are I still think you just have to score because it's just horrible playing without a reroll even if you get away with it sometimes gives you more freedom and everything Man, I hate I hate all these blocks. <laughs> now I get that he can feel he's got to get lucky because he's against Underworld, but still, like to make all those blocks and not just hit the gutter is a bit crazy, isn't it? You've got to hit the gutter. I think. Still capped at 13. Ah, except he's only got three snots, so he's capped at 12. Yeah, with GFI. Yeah, that seems crazy. That seems really crazy. Not what I would do, but who can say if it's good or bad?
Why is he doing the K Fog one turn? We're trying to. The numbers on the sidelines. I mean, I think these are minus two for how many he can set up. And three is how many he's got to. Or oh, the ten. Uh, so this is like four yards in, and then eight yards, and then 12, and then 16, and 20, and then 24. But for some reason, they're all. And then this is six, and that's ten. And that's 14, 18, 22. But yeah, I don't know why they're counting yards. I don't understand how he's doing it, honestly. Is he? I really don't understand how he's doing it. <laughs> I mean, I know how it could have been easy, but I don't understand how he's doing it. It's not that easy though, is it? It's a deep kick. And I just don't know why the rogue is there. This is incorrect. Yeah, the rogue's in the wrong place, yeah. The rogue can't go there and push, push and get the sidestep. So he's going to have to, yeah, dodge the snotling here so that he can hit there. He can blitz it to here. Like he's. Just fucked it, hasn't he? Gets the pow. Can't re roll it. Dude, how could you re roll that when you've got so many more dice to roll afterwards? <laughs> And you're going to overtime. You got pals. Wait. He didn't even have power. He got the both down. Oh my days. Oh my days! I just thought he'd rolled triple pals. He hadn't. He, he re-rolled it into. He re-rolled it into triple pals. <laughs> so the fact that the loner worked. <laughs> oh no! Well, there you go. Look, that's why I didn't use Underworld. Yes. Yeah, Baron Bucky. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Wow. I mean that's why I didn't do them, right? Because you've gotta you've gotta remember that your roger has juggernaut and stuff like that. Things like that. That's why you know, if you keep playing them you'll know that your roger has juggernaut and you'll know that when you roll both down and you'll know that you don't put your jugger in that square, the roger in that square so you can hit into this one and get that one. Like he's standing where the gutter should have been, right? Gutter should have been there, he goes there and then he goes there and he side steps up and stuff. Oh. Well, no, now it's it's eight turns of overtime. My name is Lapin, so it's a full it's a full half of OT. So now we're back to now we're back to boring old standard blood ball and the underworld. I can only have twelve players. No, no, they could have thirteen. He could put on a second snotling. No, he couldn't, could he? No, no, no. He can, he's, he's, yeah, he's limited to 12. Yeah. God, I was stupid then. So when he gets 12 players, only 12 players, whole, the whole half has to be played. There's no golden goal anymore. It is a whole half of Blood Bowl. 
a thrilling half of Blood Bowl. <laughs> of Underworld pretending to play. He caught it now. Like, if this guy had had the, uh, like, even if he'd, if he'd rolled three powers, which he hadn't, then uh, at least, like, if his thrower had the ball here or something, but, like, he had to do, like, a snotling pickup handoff to the thrower. Like, it was pretty horrible, wasn't it? Yeah, that was too close. Frickabur set up too close, and then Moomin Slayer was just too crap. <laughs> he set up wrong and then re rolled the push. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Hancock. Dude, did you, uh, did you play Steve or not? Gets a cheeky removal. Then now uh, four. Four. Two former tag team partners. <laughs> Stun's not bad, is it? Terrible. Oh, wow. Do you just eat this? You've got one real? Well, I guess you have to. I guess you just eat it. <laughs> I just have to eat it. Brutal. Try for a giant gang foul. I quite like the giant gang foul play here, but it doesn't look like it's happening. 3D with tackles good, isn't it? Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. He's going for the jack. He's going for the massive gang power as well, I think. Okay, this is probably going to be bad, isn't it? It's probably going to be very bad for Frickapir here. I hate the 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 thrower carriers. <laughs> like you've got a gutter runner, just give it to the gutter runner. See what happened there. So I'm down. Super exciting game. <laughs> Just zoned out of. <laughs> Foul. Failed. Fouled the ogre, did he? I thought he would have uh, fouled the tackler, honestly. But I guess this keeps your offense more stable, I guess. Strong and stable. Known for the sneaky get to foul.
Must mean that yeah, that must mean he's not he's gonna hit the ogre. Like it's weird because they seem to be taking a decent amount of time each turn, but they haven't used much time bank. To say it's uh, an overtime. Gets the pow. Plim plom pow. Oh, it's tackle. If he wasn't tackle, he could just two plus to get the assist, couldn't he? Magazine still just push him and then uh, two plus to get the uh, fouls in. Oh wow. Oh man. Burns the reroll. Gets the pow. And a stun. And I guess he's gonna like dodge off the snotling to foul, so it'd be what plus four assist foul. It was a bit of a shitty reroll, wasn't it, to be honest? Because the thing is, if it was double skulls, he hits this goblin and then maybe comes through here, so... But this is like pretty crap, just fouling the ogre over and over again. <laughs> it's not exactly... It's not exactly super relevant, is it, the ogre? I don't know. Versus ten. Twelve versus nine. Yeah, nine for the humans. Tough for the humans. Two dice blitzing, an ogre two dice blitzing is not me. Tragic. He hasn't been able to foul anybody with a bribe because he hasn't knocked anyone over, I don't think. Double scold on the first turn and then just pushes on the next two. I feel like this should have been a replay, honestly, I think, on my own, it's a bit... Live games are a bit... Long. <laughs> Ogre Blitz. It's pretty rubbish though, 3-2-2. Two, two. So probably just 
plays it safe again. Maybe we should like blitz the goblin with tackle. Or blitz the tackler with the guarder. He wants to try and I don't know, I think he wants to like kinda leave the ogre back. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 3D the startling. Oh, it gets an extra hit. Oh no, it chains him up the ball, okay. And he could run around the catcher as well. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. I think, yeah, tag tag on the co other corner with the catcher. But then he can just fucking hand off to the gutter, can't he? <laughs> He can just hand off to the gutter. Who then never cares about getting tagged, ever. Oh, just gonna foul. Just gonna foul. Oh, I think tagging, I think tagging the throw was pretty decent he did didn't he yeah imagine misspelling Gaish maybe he's just scared of uh, J5 banning him honestly chunt voice was peak blood bowl for me She plays like this anywhere else, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Do you should have play? Man, it sucks that Chunter doesn't stream anymore, doesn't it? Oh, this is really nice. He yeah, hasn't said ball carry blitz is all that there is here. Well, that's letting him hit the ball. Oh, that's letting him hit the ball, isn't it? And you can get a catcher assist in. You know, so this is a. Uh, Ooh, it's a bit rowdy. We saw it in the earlier match where uh, where Veli didn't go for the two D on the ball. And he had the chance. Now Frickapir has got the chance for 2D on the ball. Is he going to take it? He could go well, with that failed dodge. He could go for the boring safe tackle hit on the gutter and then try and press in. And he could even like get Guardians. So maybe he could even 3D the gutter. Or he could go for the uh because he's only got one GFI, right? So with only one GFI the four GFI the four GFI two D doesn't look quite so good. I guess he can make a dodge as well, so three GFI two D. Looks a little bit worse. Well he's already done that, so 
I guess we're not seeing the 2D on the ball. Tragedy. Yeah, I was going to say stand this guy. The classic safe moves at some point. I mean, it's quite good that if you put the guard in there, it helps you with the 3D and it gives you this 2D. So, like, it is, it was tempting to do the 3D uh, gutter play. But I wonder if, again, the 3 GFI ball sack is the right play. That's the pal. Doesn't break AV. Does oh he bases the ball, he could have just fouled him. <laughs> I think he just go back and foul him. Nah, he did for a bit, Dio, and then he stopped. And now he streams in Discord. With his uh his Discord buddies. This is still tricky, isn't it? This is still tricky. They always are. Like, they always are. This is the thing, right? Like, fucking skinks are invincible. This is why killing the skinks is a is a silly plan. And it's the same thing for killing the gutters. But you've got to try with a gutter, because he's too fucking good, isn't he? You have to try to hit the gutter still. But... The only real defense against the one turn is to fucking kill him. You can still look at Goblin Spy, can't you? And see people's win rates on Goblin Spy. Just a bit more. Oh, and uh, Spike, can't you? You can search people on Spike, can't you? That's probably the easiest way. Seventy one point seven one per cent. Flip me.
Right, go for the 1D. Get to nothing. I wonder if he should have uh, just stood there, right? And then he could have 1D'd with him. And then he could have 2D'd on a push. Because he does the 1D anyway. So if you're going to do that, like, this is a pretty decent failure state, isn't it? Whereas the skull was terrible. So maybe just go in there and then come in for the 2D was better. <coughs> Two turns, the uh, the gutter is active. We've got a 2D here. And then a 2D here. And then uh, that's all she wrote, except he's committed the gutter as an assist. Interesting. Oh, this 2D isn't easy because he's got guard. So I was thinking 2D with the snotling and the goblin, but then that's only a 1D. So he's going to just blitz him out, maybe? He can go in there. Or here, and then he can block even better. It's a 1D, man. I feel like he could have tried to get better things going than 1Ds. Like this Snotling could have just come there and, uh, and then he can get that blitz. And you can use your reroll on the dodge away, that's better than 1D, isn't it? Gets the KO. Got a goblin dodge to there. <laughs> and I guess that's it. And the fucking turn now? No, he does the extra dodge. the catcher that can run around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI. And then four, three, two, D. It's pretty rubbish, isn't it? You could one D with the ogre and then chain him onto there. Who then doesn't do any, uh, then chains this guy out for a three plus. Garden. It's not terrible. I mean, apart from having a one D with the ogre, which is terrible. So then, it's it's better than a th it's better than a four plus dodge though. So it's probably technically technically better. Not by much. You look a bit of an idiot starting with a roger block as well. I guess this is quite good because then by doing the blocks, he does that saves him the dodge. So he's definitely got a uh, dodge for this dodge. Three, four, five, six, seven. I could even you know, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, five. Should you just block first, right? I don't know what he's doing. Should have blocked this. Alright, so yeah, it's a 2D. It's a 2D. Should have blocked. Unless he's going with the, the blitzer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, G, 5. No, he can't. It's got to be this 4, 3. Well, this 4, 3, yeah. Uh, oh, he's blitzing the. Oh, he's blitzing the goblin. I don't know. I never feel like these kind of more passive plays are, are any good, right? That's the problem that I have with these kind of plays. Like, yeah, it's safer and it won't go wrong doing that blitz, but 
Four three with a reroll is really quite likely, and then you've got two D to actually win it. And now you two D with wrestle, and then two D or three D with block. And for a push like this, is just too easy to deal with, right? Like, yeah, it feels it feels nicer to do this. You know, it felt nicer for him to do these and not do the hard dodges and that. Which, you know, he would have failed, in fairness. But, like... You know... So this is really bad. I guess nah, I guess it's not right. It's only dub scores. It's not actually really bad. Uh, is it really bad? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, it was... It was fine. Because you could have done the other two to make that three, but you just need a not double skull, right? It's anything except a double skull, so... No, it was absolutely 100% correct if I am in Slayer there. It was either 100% correct or 100% bad, wasn't it? That was the that was the thing there. It was just either right or wrong. So my instinct was wrong, but it actually was right. <laughs> but there is no, there is no like, uh, you know, there's a sliding scale between <laughs> Rebel and uh, Artemis. But there it really was right. It was either just absolutely correct or absolutely incorrect. He gets to put the gutter on the LOS for the one turn. Brilliant. Brilliant. Perfect gutter one turn defense. Vereen just needs a timeout now. He needs to set up for the timeout. Not like this. Like, you might roll a timeout. You have to set up for the timeout. He gets it. And now you've got your catcher based by a guy. Your tackler is based by a guy. And you're just all kinds of fucked up. You know? Like, you had to set up. Like, I mean, I'm sorry, Frick up here, but it's... It's for, there's five grand worth of prize money. You've come this long. You've played this this game for like an hour and a half or whatever. And I think the quick snap is probably less worth setting up for. I don't think he can set up for a quick snap with this many players. I don't think he can realistically set up for a quick snap. But he could have set up for. I think he set up for only for the uh, only for the timeout. Like you need a lot of players, right, to get to get three pushes from a side stepper. I mean, I guess you need two then from the side stepper. But even then, like, he just hasn't got very many players to do it with. You'd have to put in this, the the catcher would be here, right, for the side step to here, and then so he'd still need three, four, five, six, seven to get the one push, and then need and then he'd need more. Like I just don't think you can do it realistically. This many players, I think you just you just set up for the uh, just set up for the time mode. And look, just do the pass first, right? Okay, I guess this does give him a second chance. Yeah, maybe that's correct. But that's interesting, isn't it? I feel like just not one in nine, you just don't score, right? And like make it an easier pass and get in there. You're not going to pass it to one of the other two. So you're not really getting anything by not passing directly to the guy that you want the ball on. He did get an extra chance on the one in nine, but again, now that the chance is so low that it doesn't really matter that much that you've got a second chance. This is lovely, isn't it? He gets to uh, blitz. Blitz the tackler and then base the ball, or well, the base the catcher with a uh, juggernaut. Or is that not what he's going to do? I would have thought he would have had a, another guy here, and uh, I think 
like this guy could have been here, couldn't he? And then you just blitz in and then 2D him. Or you power him and then go there. Another Kaz. Got him in front. You can try and move the Roger to like in. Oh my god. Wouldn't you don't you want him in though? Wouldn't in be better? Doesn't matter much, this is still pretty good. The uphill blitzers, I mean he could he can dodge. Mm, it's pretty terrible. So maybe uh, I could jump, right? We could jump. Maybe you could blitz the uh, this tackle and then jump over him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI. Maybe that's the best play. Blitz, blitz the, blitz the tackle and jump over him. Otherwise, you've got like uphill blitz this guy and then 4 3, which isn't great, is it? But I guess he could power him on the uphill. Then the uphill's like a 4 as well. So no, I think I think blitzing the, the tackle and jumping over him is the play. He's got a double GFI handoff to the blitzer who then passes it into the end zone. Which is also shit. But what can you do? I think it's correct, but I don't know what he's doing now. Maybe he's going to uphill blitz. But I'm sure, I'm sure the, the blitzing this guy and then jumping over him is the best. I oh, can 1D. Okay, no, maybe he's not then. Maybe 1D is pretty good. <laughs> So four three. The problem is now it's like a long bomb, isn't it? One two three four five six G five G five. Cast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> pretty uh, a pretty blood ball finish. First round losers was a great name for Moomin Slayer, but it's not true. He'll, he's got through the fourth round where he will play a two and all team. Um, Congrats to Moomin Slayer, commiserations to Frickapay. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.